hello, welcome to the latest uh, Beckart vlog on wire rope. Uh, today we're talking about um, uh, wire rope lay, uh, what, what's different about wire rope lay and when you'd use different types of wire rope lay. I'm joined here with Harold. Hey, good afternoon, Pete. Uh, Harold's our, one of our application specialists. Harold uh, has 20 years of experience in the uh, lifting industry. Uh, Harold's based in Gelsenkirchen, uh, Germany. Uh, and his specific interest is uh, our crane and industrial sector, which includes ports, construction equipment, and also steel and wire mills. So, um, the first and obvious question, Harold, is um, what are the differences in different rope lays um, and uh, their orientation, uh, and what do they mean, essentially? Yeah, Peter, that's a good question. Principle we different between a right hand rope or a left hand rope. Yeah, that's a principal thing. So that means by right hand rope, like this, the outer strands following in a helix form around the core. And by a left hand rope, it's the same, but by a left hand rope, the direction is different. For a much easier understanding, we call it the right hand and the left hand with letters that for right hand lay is a set like this form, or for the left hand rope, we used a S like this form. But this is only the difference between right hand and left hand. Also, we talk about an ordinary lay rope or regular lay rope, or we talk about a length lay rope. The difference for this is you can see on the screen on the left side, we talk about a right hand length lay rope. That means, as I explained before, the outer strand goes from the downside left to the upside right and the single wires in the outer strand is following the same direction as the outer strand. But we talk also about the ordinary lobe, as I explained before, that means by ordinary lobe, the single wire is across the lay direction of the outer strand. That means it's the upper side of the lay direction of the outer strand. And that's a difference between right hand and left hand and the difference between regular lay rope and length lay rope. Also for this, for better understanding, we use the letters Z and S. That means for a right hand length lay rope, we use it the letters Z, Z. Or for a right hand ordinary lay rope, we use the letter S, Z. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, so there's a lot of sort of confusion in there and, and that to me is added a little way is that these can also be known as, as something else is that is that correct yeah that's that's not too easy to understand for each yeah so we are rope expert for us is it easy but for not experts it's sometimes a little bit tricky but we have also a chart in our brochures and and so on where you can see what is a right hand ordinary lay rope it's short form it's h r h o l or right hand regular rope, it's RHRL, that's SZ or ZS for left hand regular rope, or ZZ and SS for right hand length or for left hand length lay rope. And, and essentially, this, this, is, this is here to, um, or, or what's the difference? Why, why are there different types of, of, of lay and what's the importance of them? Uh, both are different, it's a different rope technology, let me say so, by a length lay rope. Uh, as I explained before, the single wires in the outer strand yeah, following the same direction automatically the completely strand had a bigger area that has a contact with the sheath. So that means also the wear resistance of, outer, of the outer wires by a length lay rope it's much higher than the wear resistance by a regular lay rope. It's depend of right or left hand, it's always the same. but the contact area uh, to the sheath ground, it's not so much. And then we have a better wear resistant by a length layer rope that you can also see here. So, so the blue areas here, yeah. it's the same amount of force going through this area and this area. That's, that's right. But yeah. it is spread further with a Lang's layer. Yeah. Yep, that's okay. right. Thank you, Harold. Um, so obviously, uh, there's two different types of rope. Uh, there are various different applications. Um, what are the sort of key points in selecting the right um, uh, rope lay for, for an application? Yeah, for selecting the right rope for the application, you have to know the application. We talk a 
a multi-layer spooling, we talk about a single layer spooling. So then it's important, the drum rule, you have a left hand drum, you need a right hand rope, or you have a right hand drum, then you need a left hand rope. But if you talk about a multi-layer spooling, for example, for a crawler grain, mobile grain, tower grain, then the drum rule, it's not so important, but then it's important from which side uh, the rope will be reefed in the in the in the reaming system, yeah, and yeah, that's it's very it's important. It's one point there. It's important for selecting the right rope. Also for multi-layer spooling, you can use only or you should use only length lay rope because if you use ropes, they are not length lay. So that means you use a regular rope. The single wires on the on the on the strands they are plugging against there and then you destroy the rope in a short time as you can see on the pictures on the left. So that's that's a, a, a an ordinary lay rope. That's an ordinary it, rope. Yeah, it there snagged was, and destroyed the sort of absolutely that's the right. fabric of the, yeah. the, the the rope. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so that's a complex topic uh, that we've covered today. Um, if you want more information on this, uh, this topic, we have produced a bulletin that you can request from us that, that hopefully gives more information. Uh, if you then have specific questions that, that, that you have, please contact us on the email address uh, on the screen and we will put you in touch with one of the application specialists to answer your queries. Thank you very much for watching. I hope the uh, presentation has been of interest. Um, and as I say, if you want to contact us, please use the details on the screen. Thank you.